is celebrating culture all over the world, and our next stop is Guyana. So you usually see our next guest in studio talking about charcuterie boards, but today she is showing us the vibrant kaleidoscope of Guyanese cuisine. Please welcome Sarah Juman Yassin. Yes. yes! Let's get into it. Yes. Guyanese heritage. Guyanese heritage. Okay, and so when we think of Guyana, we're thinking of many cultures all together, are That's we not? That's right. Guyana has a rich culture that's brought to it by its diverse population because Guyana has six different races. There's Indian, African, Indigenous, Portuguese, Chinese, and European. So this really comes together in the culture, and this can especially be seen in the food. And Guyana is also a standout in South America, is it not? Yes, it's the only English-speaking country in South America. Okay. Yes, but it's very much considered part of the Caribbean. It is considered part of the Caribbean. Yeah. I remember the first time my Guyanese friend told me that Guyana was in a continent. Like, it's a, it's in South America. I yeah. didn't see it that way because yeah. we are always celebrating all the things with Guyanese folks, but it's part of the Caribbean. Yeah. Okay, so you have all the different cultures represented here from Guyana. Let's start here. So we're starting with appetizers. Yeah. So here we have egg ball. So egg ball is a very popular appetizer, snack, or anytime food. It is made from hard-boiled egg encrusted in cassava, also known as yuca, mm -hmm. and then it is deep fried until golden brown. And it's great mm -hmm. for any time. It's served in a lot of snackettes. Then we have plantain chips. So mm -hmm. in North America, we have potato chips. In Guyana, we yep. have plantain chips. And it's made from uh, green plantains that are deep fried and then salted. Yep. And it's served with mango sour. And mango sour is really green mangoes okay. that are sweet and also a little bit spicy. You're going to taste that. So the egg balls and the plantain so chips good. go good with that sauce. It's got a little bit of kick to it. Yeah, a little bit of kick. But these would both be what, appetizers? Yes. This is delicious. Like, it's Absolutely. got the protein, it's got the carbs, it's got some fiber in there. I like anything with egg, too. And, of course, plantain's plantain. It's always going to be popular, right? Um, let's move over here now. We have a bunch of mains. Yes. What, what is everything? So we're starting here with pepper pot. Pepper pot okay. is the national dish of Guyana. Mm -hmm. And it's made, it's a dark stew. Here we made it out of beef. Yeah. And it gets this really rich color from a sauce called kazrip, which is a reduction of cassava. And then it's boiled and simmered for hours. Wow. And there's something magical about pepper pot. You make it one day, yeah. it tastes okay. By day three, it's tasting magnificent. So the longer it sits, the better it gets. It just gets better and better and, and better, better and better. And then it's served with bread. Here we have Guyanese plat bread. Mm -hmm. You just dip the bread with the uh, stew and you eat it. Oh, that's my kind of meal. That is a beautiful thing. And then next, we're moving over to Africa. Yeah. So this is called cook-up rice, and it was inspired in Ghana by Africans who came from West Africa. Mm -hmm. And it's a one-pot meal. So this is my type of cooking. Very you good. You put the rice, the chicken, you can mm -hmm. put beef, uh, beans and your spices and you boil it with coconut milk until it's done. And this is really popular That's for any good. gatherings and especially New Year's Eve in Guyana. It's so good. Well, it reminds me of rice and peas. Yes. Right? Yes. It just, we wouldn't put the chicken in the rice and peas, but it makes, totally makes sense. It's delicious. Now, what do we have here? So here, we are going to India now. Uh -huh. So dal originated in India, and it came to Ghana by Indian settlers. Uh -huh. So this is, think of uh, split pea soup. Okay. So this is yellow split peas, and it's boiled with turmeric, um, curry powder, and different uh -huh. spices. And it's served as either a sauce or a gravy. Okay. Here I have it plated with rice, and we have vegetable curries. So here we have eggplant curry, we call it baigan. We have spinach here, and then we have pumpkin, and we eat it all together. But my favorite way of eating dal is mm -hmm. in a bowl with roti. Mm -hmm. You break the roti up, and you eat it, and this is my type of Guyanese comfort food. That's how I just ate it, and it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. And then next, we're moving to Portugal. Yes. So the Portuguese came to Guyana, and they brought saltfish cake. Mm -hmm. So saltfish cake is dry uh, salted cod, mm -hmm. and it's mixed with potatoes, green onions, and other spices, and it's rolled and formed into a ball, and then it's fried until golden brown. And it's delicious, mm -hmm. high protein, great appetizer, great morning snack. Delicious, like a croquette, right? Yes. It's beautiful. Okay, we've done some apps. We've done some mains. Let's do some dessert. dessert. Okay, this is Let's my favorite sweet. part. Okay, so the Chinese are also found in Ghana, and here we have Chinese cake, or as Guyanese people call it, Chinese cake. Mm -hmm. And this is really a version of Chinese black bean cake. Okay. So it's made from sweetened black bean. Yeah. And it's really, really a... Is this what I have here? That is what you have there. Uh-huh. It's wrapped with pastry, and it's really delicious. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to move on to my favorite. Sweet, but not too sweet. sweet I like that. Sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. And then here we have Solara. This is my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. I've been known to being called Sara Solara because I love it so much. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know, I just love the nickname. So what this is, it's a rich pastry yeah. rolled with dyed coconut that has oh. been sweetened. Oh, nice. I have to tell you, and I have a lot of personal experience, it's best enjoyed warmed with a nice cup of tea. Oh, just warm it up a little bit, yeah, have your tea. Oh, I amazing. love that. It's amazing. Beautiful. And lastly, yes. I wanted to show you here a uh, pine tart. Yes. So I don't know if you're familiar with pine jam. If not, I'm going to give you a little pine bit. Pine jam? Pine jam. Is, Is it, it pine apple? Yeah, so it's pineapple that's made into a jam. So in North America, we have blueberry jam, raspberry jam, strawberry jam, but not pine jam. Very so here, good. we made pine jam with cinnamon and spice, and mm -hmm. then we made it into a pastry, and that's what we call pine tart. Oh, that's good. I would put that on anything, that Bread, jam. bagels, anything. Yes. It's, yeah, delicious. Sarah, beautiful spread. Thank you so much for opening up the world of Guyanese food to us.